Okay, so, uh, so we've got the roof structure there, and, uh, and now I'm going to add the roof. Uh, often, when you're doing your own projects, you may not have the roof structure modelled separately like this, and it's totally fine in that situation just to go straight ahead and do the roof, and come back and add in the extra detail, but I thought since we've got the roof structure already done, you can put it in as a guide. And so then, even in the 3D view here, you can click onto the roof tool, but if you do, you'll get a warning telling you that it's the lowest level. So you can see there's lowest level notice. And what it's saying is, in the 3D view, the ground floor is the current level. And it's assuming that we don't want to be modelling the roof on the ground, on the lowest level. And so it gives you a chance to choose a different level. And so there, I can choose TOW, which is top of wall, and say yes. That's right, it'll all be greyed out. Yeah. Yep. And so that's one way. I'm going to show you a different way. Yeah, if you've done it like this, you could just switch to TOW in the floor plans and draw it there. So how come it is it's greyed? Oh, so it's greyed out so that you can't change anything else while you're making the roof. Uh -huh. yeah. so, so that's one option. I'm going to cancel this though and just show you if I had the TOW level open, the one we want the roof to be on, and then I went to the roof tool, I wouldn't get the lowest level notice because we're on the level it should be on and it can pick that up. So you've got those two different options. You can just do it from any level and then change it afterwards, um, or go to the level you want to be on and start making the roof there. But then also, final thing there in properties, um, is uh, that you can change the level of the roof even after that just by choosing the level from the uh, base level option there, which should be your first property. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yep. And that can be useful if you want to draw the roof, say, on the level one floor plan and have it go up onto a different level. Maybe just do two. Oh, no, so that's so we've got to still make it. So, so to create the roof, you'll see in the draw panel it should be on pick walls. So pick walls is the very last button there in that group of shapes. And so as long as you're on that pick walls button, if it's not, just click onto it, then you should be able to pick onto the top edge of the wall at the top. And it should give you a slope. If you don't see the slope, check that you have defined slope turned on on the uh, options bar on the top left, that tick box over on the very left. Yeah, so that's why it should come up with 30 by default. And so you can click on that number and make it 36.5. And then click on to the edge on the left. Yep. How do I get my project Right, so just go to the view tab. Yep. Yep, sure. Um, yep, view and then user, under user interface at the end, you can just tick project browser. Oh, 36.5. So that'll be 36.5. Yep, there you go. Yep. Sure. And so then the same with the bottom edge. So the very bottom of the bottom wall, and then again, 36.5. Thirty-six point five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so the last one, remember, is a parapet wall. Ah. So we can't choose. Um, we can't use pick walls because not because it's not a wall. It's because it's going into a di onto a different side of that wall. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So we just go to back to your architecture tab, and then click on the roof button. Yeah, that's right, pick on the top edge, and then, so if you've got to see how you picked up the bottom of, of the wall. No, 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 you, you, the one you selected, you got the bottom, so click on the arrow in the middle, and that'll flip it to the top, yep, and then click onto the angle there, the number, 30, yep, and then, yeah, and then change that to 36.5. Yep. So once you've got those three edges with the slope, 
then you need to switch to pick lines. And so that's next to pick walls in the draw panel. You'll see the button that has the green line with the white arrow on top. Yeah, so just hit continue and then you can keep keep going. So so with the um, the uh, pick lines button, so just make sure you've got that one. Then you can pick on the inside edge of the wall on the right because we want the roof to go up to the back of that wall, not to the front. And now, so before you do that, so don't choose it. If you've picked it, just undo. So you've got to turn to find slope off as well. So up on the ribbon or just below, you've got to find slope on the very left hand side. So top left corner. Exactly, yeah. So that's. Yeah, that's fine, that's normal, yep. So I just leave it unlocked and then. Um, okay, so before you click on the tick to finish it, just change the roof thickness by going to properties where you'll see it'll say basic roof generic 400 mil and you need to change that to generic 125 mil. So just in properties, yeah, yeah. So you the entire of that one? Yeah, but, but make sure you don't have a slope on. So just, just undo one step. And, uh, oh yeah, and you flip the other ones too. So uh, just, just press escape a couple of times. And then select one of those lines you made before. Yeah, and click on the arrow in the middle. Yeah, and that puts it back to the outside. And then go to pick lines instead of pick walls. So in the draw panel, up on the top right, we've got all the shapes. Yep, and then the second last button is pick, yep, yep. And then turn to, no, turn to find slope off on the, on the top left. Yep, so the tick box just there, yep. And then pick onto the inside of that wall on the right. No, the wall, the, yep, pick on the inside edge. Yep, that's it, done, yep. Okay, so once you've chosen that new roof thickness, 125 mil, click the tick. And, oh yeah, if you get a message, sorry, okay, so click the tick and it might give you a message like it has with mine telling you that lines can't intersect each other because it hasn't joined them all. Normally we'll join them all together, but in this case, we've got to use trim. So that's fine if you get the message. Yep, that's fine, so just hit continue. Okay, so on the modify panel, you've got to use trim to corner. So that's this button off here. And then simply join these two lines together to create a corner. Yeah, yeah. And then the same at the bottom, that's right. That's fine, so you can still just use trim to join it to the one at the top. So with trim to corner. That's separating the roof from the Yeah, it's and it's connecting the line, so they need to be touching before it'll let us finish it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. No, so just undo that. And then just undo again. Yep, there we go. So when you're choosing the line, just choose the part on the left here. Yep, there. That's right. And then this one here. Oh, and then the trim to no, that's what you're doing, trim to corner, oh and so now we've got a corner there. Yeah, and that's it. Be yeah, so the, uh, then that one's fine. Yeah, click on that one, and then yeah, over to the left. That's it. So you go that way. Yep. Yeah. Right. yeah. So you haven't done the trimming, or what, you've got the. I don't know why your lines moved. Yeah, you've moved it to the outside again. So just undo what you did before. Yeah, but you've moved the line. You've got an extra line there. Yeah. So you need to get rid of that. So just delete that. So just press escape to finish trimming. And then just select that line and then press delete. And now use trim to corner and join those lines together. Yep. So that way, yeah, that one's okay, but I think the bottom's the only one you've got to do. And you should be right then. Yeah. 
So yeah, so just try finishing it, see if it works. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why once it's done, yeah, click the tick to see if it works. It'll tell you if it's not happy, and often it won't be. Yeah, that's right, tick to finish. Yep. So, yeah, so in this view, it's still a floor plan. So we can see the roof there is cut at this height, and also the structure, and the structure's sticking through, because if you look at it from the side, you'll see that the roof is sitting on the bottom of the joists. So you can click move. No, you want it, want it on the top. So just click on the move button. Pick it up on the bottom of the roof. So if you miss this, I've just gone to the south elevation. So you know, just by selecting the roof. Yep. Yep. So just maybe zooming to get the the right edge. And, uh, yep. you mean the roof structure or the, the actual roof that you've just made? So that, that's the line of it there. And then if you click on the move button, you can simply snap to the bottom of it and then snap to the <coughs> corner of your joist. Snap to? Of your rafters. So I'll just do that again. And so, I mean just select your roof. Yep, just select your roof on the edge. Uh, that's your structure. That's just go down to the line below. Uh, that that'll get it. Yep. There we go. And then you get the move button. So you choose the Yep. That's right. And then you go to move. Then click move. Yep. And then you go there. To, uh, on the corner is good. So on the on the corner over here. So I'm just picking it up right on the corner of the wall and the roof, and then go to the top of the rafter. Yeah. And so what you should see then is that the bottom of the roof sits on the top of the rafter exactly. Yeah. Oh, have a look. And so it doesn't matter. If, even if this isn't right, it's an easy thing to move. Well, because think about the way the roof's built. You've got that the, the roof lighting we are just talking about, so either custom orb or corrugated iron, which is sitting directly over those rafters with maybe a bit of insulation underneath. And uh, so, so that's really what this this roof represents. This roof is the roof lining. Sorry, didn't finish yep. it. Oh. No, that's right. But that's right. You've got more. So there's something between the roof. Oh yeah, yeah. No, Sorry. That's the so there's, there's a gap. The roof and the roof, that's no, no. There's no gap. There's no gap. This is touching. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. So that's yeah. The vertical bits are the the rafters. rafters yeah. And then there's the roof. Yes, that's yeah. right. It looks like this. If it looks like this, it's fine. Yeah, oh, I'll come over in a second. I'm just recording, but I'll come over in a second. So, I'll just show you the uh, the next part briefly, and then uh, give some time to experiment with this. But it shows you about construction, even if you just see this, because. When you're first um, looking at this sort of uh, detail, it can seem a bit odd having the roof lining above the rafters there. So the rafters you can see there under the roof lining when you look at it in 3D. And you've got a gap. But that's right, exactly, exactly. It would be open except for the fascia. That's right, that's right. Yeah, that's why you have a fascia. So that's fine, so you can move the roof afterwards or I'll, I'll come and have a look, it won't take long to fix. Yeah, no, that'll be easy to fix. So the fascia, once you've got that, it's fairly easy and then we'll change the thickness of the fascia afterwards. So I'll quickly show you the fascia tool and then give some time to, to fix anything. So under here, on the roof menu, the arrow next to roof, you can go to roof fascia. Now, we need to make this fascia bigger so I'm just going to do it at the size it is and then we'll make it bigger later. So I'm going to pick the edge of the roof and it puts the fascia there. Wait, what edge, sorry? The so the, the top of the, yeah, that's right. So the top edge of the roof there. So you can see that fascia board isn't big enough, but we can easily extend that down afterwards. 
you just select the edge and it'll it'll automatically follow the roof. So you need to orbit as you go. And then the gutter tool is basically the same. So back in the same menu under roof, you have roof gutter. But this time, it's good to zoom right in because you want to pick the edge of your fascia, not the edge of your roof. And we'll automatically put a gutter on, and then you've done all the detail that you need for the roof. Except that the fascia needs to be extended, which we'll do afterwards. I'll do a separate video for that because that's a bit more involved. But um, otherwise, you've got a pretty decent level of detail there without doing a lot of work.